3rd of April 2023. This is News Flash, I'm going to talk about Finland. It's a big story. Sanna Marin has lost the election. And another big story is the fact that Finland has been welcomed into NATO. Now I have got some questions around it and I've tried to gauge the temperature but it's difficult for somebody sitting here in South Africa to really understand what's going on there. If you look at it objectively, it is difficult to understand how Finland could cancel one-sidedly a neutrality agreement that they had with Russia for uh, 50 or 60 years or something like that. And it's difficult for me to really see the sense in that. But then, if we look at it in the light of the Russophobia fever that spread through Europe since last year in February, it is not too far-fetched to think that they can do something like this. The problem is now, now Russia sees them as an enemy and a threat. And I've already read articles where the Russian military has clearly stated that they will have to build up their defense forces on their western border. As if there is not enough tension in that region, so we have this. But who will forget this woke chick when she went to Ukraine and pledged her and Finland's undying love for Zelensky and his regime? Let's see where that ends. But it seems like she has been another victim of the Zelensky curse. Roman Kovanak posted this on Twitter. The girl boss phase of Western democracy didn't last long. Prime Minister Sanna Marin admits defeat and loses the Finnish elections. And I agree with him. There's too many chicks that are in charge of Europe and things are going very wrong there. And there was this article. Finnish girl boss PM Sanna Marin is out. Her coalition came in third place after she introduced strong gender self-ID laws and destroyed Finland's relationship with Russia to appease her fellow liberal party goers. Suck suck to, to Sanna. Suck to suck. Sanna maybe start an OnlyFans. Now for those that don't know, OnlyFans is a porn group. And uh, I am absolutely stunned by what has happened in Finland. I cannot believe it happened. And they embarked on this NATO mission of theirs without a referendum. So we don't know what the population thinks about this. Then there was this article. Finland PM ousted by Conservative in a tight three-way race. Finnish parliamentary election Sunday saw National Coalition Party NCP, the country's leading conservative group, edged to victory, with all three leading contenders split by less than 1% of the votes. The NCP ended up with 20.8, which grants them around 48 seats in parliament, while Sada Marin's Social Democrats Party was third at 19.9 meaning no party can form a government alone. NCP leader Peter Orpo has fought his campaign to cut massive budget deficits but maintained a solid pro-Kiev line regarding the Ukraine conflict. And that is quite interesting and it's a tight race, so I don't know how they're going to come out of this one. The main thing is what does the population think? And I've read through a thread on Twitter and it's mixed messages. Many Finns are happy with the NATO thing, many Finns are not happy with it. But that's how it works. And then this MP tweeted, Breaking, Finland is officially in NATO. 
Glorious achievement for a great EU leader, Sanna Marin. Welcome to the NATO family, Finland. Well, let's see how welcome that will be. The reality is, Europe is confused, Europe is in trouble, Europe is being deindustrialized, Europe is struggling economically, and things are just falling apart. But all that you hear out of these politicians and leaders is more war. I don't know where this is going to end. And this chick, with her gender confused issues, she's from a parent number one and a parent number two, so what did you expect? Please give me a like and subscribe and share the thing. Thank you.